Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on Bowen Channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine seven in class again today. How have you been? Today we are going to show you how to get your or how to get slope from digital elevation model, right? Good now. One thing you need to know about them using them for your slope is that it actually depends on the resolution of your dam and then definitely your terrain, right? Good. So if you're using a very good dam, let's say a dam with a very high resolution, the terrain analysis will be easier to depict than when you're using dams of um, relatively lower um, resolutions, right? Good. Now, having said that, we have downloaded the digital elevation model of, or let's say we downloaded digital elevation model from USGS, right? Good. And then we now try to extract our area of interest using what this um, raster extraction to call them clip raster by max layer, right? Good. Having done that, we now have what the dam that covers our area of interest, which is something like this. So now we are going to go straight to doing what getting the, the slope of this particular um, of this particular AOC. However, um, in a simple term, slope is just the degree of steepness, right? Good. That's just what um, it means. Or so let's say the steepness of a surface, and the and it's usually expressed in either percentages or angles, right? Good. If it's an angle, it's going from zero to ninety, and if it's in percentage, you know, zero to one hundred, right? Good. Having said that, let's now come down to the raster. We go down to analysis, then we select slope good so um the input layer will definitely be the clipped mark so let's say the clipped data we have then the band number um ratio of vertical units to horizontal then we are expressing the slope in percentage instead of degrees right good so let's say no let's express them in degrees because if we click this or if we click on this it will now be expressing it as what percentage instead of degrees but i would rather have it in what in degrees so i won't settle of those we are going to save it um, as a temporary file let's click on run good so um we have what a slope layer somewhere around there that shows what the values right good the slope values ranging from zero degrees to 89.9 .9, which is definitely what 90 degrees right good now, if you also look um, relatively, if you look closely at our terrain, you are going to see that there's a water body passing through the terrain, and this is actually like um, an island area. It is um, surrounded by water on almost um, every side, right? Good. Now, so depending on the area of interest you're working on and the resolution of your dam, let's change the symbology. And the resolution of your dam, you are going to have a um, different depiction can see 0 to 89.9 so let's um, change this to equal interval and then the color ramp should be used top here yeah. okay it's on that top let's apply that and then we click on ok so now what this simply means is that when you visualize this your slope data you are going to see that there is a visible um, even representation of what of values along this area just that the water body has what different values. So now let's use the identify tool. Now using the identify tool will now help us to identify what the the slope values at the different points. So now let's zoom into this water. We can see that um, we are having zero. But if we come up to let's say the mainland, we now have values ranging from 89.9, .9, which is about what 90 degrees. So now remember we told you that the the accuracy of the slope depends um, primarily on the, the dam data you've used. And again, when you've used the dam data, you also need to understand the topography of the terrain you are actually working on, right? So if it's actually maybe from mountainous areas to maybe lower areas, you would know relatively how the change in slope or let's say yeah, the steepness would be. And it's coming from maybe waterlogged areas to maybe areas that are a little bit above that you would also be able to uh, to interpret that however the basic thing about today's video is to show you how you can what how you can use your digital elevation model 
which you would have downloaded from any source um, extract your area of interest and then get what your slope data from it which can be expressed in either percentages or what in degrees right good ranging from 0 to 90 for degrees and 0 to 100 for percentage right good so when you look at the description section you would see a few notes on how the percentages vary and what they mean so thanks for coming to class we hope that um, we've provided a solution to this particular solving problem we are going to see you on our next video until then keep staying safe and have a very good time bye